it's Zena Overhug Princess and welcome to another Vera Bradley video. This one is Vera Bradley Lanyards and this was requested by a viewer who asked a request to remain nameless. That's fine, totally fine. And with the lanyards I brought out the zip IDs as well because that just makes sense to me that they kind of go hand in hand. Um, first thing I would say is the way that I store them is I have them all on these carabiners and there's a lot of them, so there's multiple carabiners, I don't know, five or six, one. Yeah, five or six of them. And I have them kind of grouped. This particular one that we're gonna go over first is actually not Vera Bradley lanyards, but they are fun anyway. I have one that has wide lanyards, I have one that has lighten up lanyards, I have one that has, well, and reactive. I have one that has solids and one that has patterns. So there you go, that's how I have them grouped. No particular reason, that's just the way they are. Um, the lanyards also have sometimes no zip ID that matches. Sometimes they have multiple zip IDs per lanyard. So I definitely have more zip IDs than I have lanyards, but we're going to get into all of that. So this first group is, like I said, non Vera Bradley. So let's look at them. We'll take them off and then put them back on as we go. So first thing I have a... Royal Caribbean one, um, you know, you win little games on the ship and you get little prizes and things. So I just have a next cruise one. It was from one of the games and it just has that clip on the end. Nothing super exciting. Um, I've never actually used it for anything, but there you go. I have several just plain black ones that are from random miscellaneous past engagements and whatnot. So this one's kind of very, very simple and very lightweight. This one is a little bit more robust, a little bit longer and still very simple. They just have those little clips on the end. Then I have this one that's more like a rope. Still very simple with just a clip on the end. Yeah, these are boring, sorry. They're just on there. And then this one is more like a paracord one. It's not so much a lanyard per se, although I don't even know, I don't remember what this was from. It was from something, not military, even though it looks kind of military-esque. And it has this nice clasp on the end, which is really cool, so you can clip it onto things. And I don't, I don't remember where I got it. It's not important though. Okay, now these next three, now we're getting into the fun stuff. So the boring stuff's out of the way. Um, these three, so first one is from Six Flags. It has all the superhero stuff on it. So let me put it upright. You got Batman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Superman. Yeah, so kind of a mix of things. It says Six Flags right on it. So there's your iconic Six Flags logo right there. And then of course I have my, <laughs> it was my season pass holder. So I have that there. On the bottom it, it has that clip so you can take that off, you know, it's just on a clip like any other lanyard. It also has a little logo charm on there. It's rubber, so you know, it's flexible and totally waterproof. It's just a little Superman. And then it has this other piece on there that you can hang other things on. Like you can leash that onto like a old phone if it has a thing or put your keys or I like to put um, a bag charm on there or like a keychain, so like a little dangle jangle decorative. Um, yeah, so that's that. It's plain blue on the back side. It's kind of a nylon-ish, not quite seat belt material, but you know, yeah. It is quick release on the back as well. Not my favorite style, honestly. They always get caught in my hair, and my little baby hairs on the back of my neck. I hate that. But you know, it's also safer, so there's that. The second one, I'm gonna put these down, sorry. The second one is from Universal Studios Orlando. I was there in April, May of last year with my family. And this one is Captain America. Of course, I love the red, white, and blue. So on the front, it just has, it says Captain America, and then it has a very patriotic background, and you can see there he is right on there. And then on the back, it has the shield. So white with a shield, so it's totally reversible. You can change the look of it by just flipping it inside out. It too is quick release on there, and these are you know wide lanyards obviously, so that's cool. On the bottom, it just has the one clip on it, so you can unclip 
things. But it has this little Ziploc plastic container and that was my five day pass that I had used at Universal right there. So we got that one. And then the last one in this group is from Disney World, same trip. I just, um, I love the villains and I love purple. So um, this one happens to be the villains and, and purple. So it is a nice long wide lanyard. It's a really nice material. It's the same material <clears throat> as the one from Six Flags and the one from Universal. So they're very nice, sort of a slicky, nylon ribbon kind of thing. Not like a seat belt with a deep weave, but I mean, it is woven. Anyway, so it has the villains on there. And on the back, so again, it's reversible, and this one is not quick release, but it has like the outlines of a bunch of the different things on there. Just more of the character head faces and whatnot. On the bottom, it's just a loop, which is interesting. And then it clips off. So you have this long lanyard and then you have this additional piece. So you could use it like a keychain or um, clip it onto a backpack or other things. Um, it's just kind of neat. It has the Disney Parks rubber thing on there. So you can clip that on to your lanyard. The other thing is the lanyard itself has the Velcro. So it's not a quick release lanyard. But it does have a safety mechanism because Velcro, you know, will only withstand so much force. So if this thing was being jerked, it would come undone. See that? So it's a different kind of quick release. And I was really nervous about losing it. So I, I did constantly hold on to it for things. But um, yeah, anyway, there it goes. And then the bottom part, again, has a Ziploc card holder, but has the villains on the one side, clear on the other. So you can actually use it for your fast pass without having to take it out of your little ziplock thing and then it has this little mirror mirror charm on it so that was pretty fun and i had a, actually a harry potter keychain on there too all right so that is the non vera ones that was my phone hitting the floor out of my pocket <laughs> chunk all right so that's one. Next one, and these are really in no particular order, they're just grouped, like I said, but the first one I grab right here is the wide lanyards. So, I have three of them from Vera Bradley. There is this one, which is woven. It's, it's thin, you know, it's a wide lanyard this way, but it's very thin this way. It's like a, like, I don't know why I say canvas type, but it's very thin. I, I like the weight of it. It's actually very nice and light, but yet durable enough. It's on both sides. So it's not the kind that has like the embroidery and then on the back, it's all the strings and the backside, not this one. This one is great on both sides. So it's just the reverse essentially on either side. So it's really, really great one. I like silver. This is, um, I think this is the rose gold is what it's called because it's on like the pink thing that's woven into, but it just looks great. And then on the bottom you have your loop and a clip. So very, very simple, but I really, really like this one. I actually bought this one because I thought it would be good for cruising. Um, so it wasn't so Vera-esque, but it's, you know, very blingy for some of the dressier nights when you wanted to wear something a little bit different. I do have some beaded lanyards and stuff too, but anyways, okay. The next one is Bon Bon Medallion. And this is just a nice, it's cotton. So again, it's very pliable, very comfortable to wear. I really actually like the wide lanyard a lot. And it's the pretty colors of the Bon Bon Medallion and it's just chunks of the pattern. So actually a pretty good look to it. And then on the bottom, just like the other one, it has a clip and a ring and so that's good um, this is a different no it's the same clip okay this is the newer style clip i actually prefer the older ones that had the little release on them we'll get to that later because there's more of them but on this one i have a zip id this is a deluxe zip id in the bonbon medallion so it does match it's just a snippet of the pattern the deluxe has the two-sided clear view here and then you have two more card slots inside, and then you have 
the snap closure and your regular zip ID here with the two, two sides to it. There's no clear on that piece, but. And then you have the ring, of course. So what I do when I'm storing it, I just put the ones that go together on the primary loop, and there you go. Lanyard. That's that one. And then the last one I have in this group is the best in show. This is the wide lanyard. It's kind of that ribbon style, kind of like the ones I showed from Six Flags and Universal and Disney. It's that type of material. So it's a, like a slicky nylon, again, not seat belt, like it's, it's very pliable and smooth and whatnot. But it has the, the adorable dogs all over it and the tennis balls in between all of them, which is kind of fun. And then on the, the zip ID on this one, there was multiple to pick from. I did not pick the regular pattern one. I picked the one with the embroidered dog retrieving the stick. And then it has the squirrels and the tennis balls which is the interior to the main best in show pattern if you're not familiar. Um, so it's just fun and the squirrels are, so like at all of these are the same, the dog is in the same place, etc. But you may or may not have little squirrels in there on yours because that part of the pattern did vary. Um, on the other side, I just have the tennis balls. So there's that one. And that is it for the wide liners. That's all that I have. I've tried to be a little bit more um, good about restraining myself a, a little bit, uh, but it doesn't always work out that way. Okay, so there are four more groups to go. Let me bring this one. Oops, hi Kelly. This one is a nice big group. And so what you can see is there's a lot more zip IDs is they're grouped on there. Let me uh, flick this message up, there we go. Okay, so on this one, <laughs> she's bored, Kelly is not digging this. Too much jostling of things around. Okay, so this one, we'll just start with Seahorse of Course. So I have the Seahorse of Course lanyard. These, the only ones that are quick release are the Disney ones, and that's because you cannot get them as a not quick release. Um, so all the other ones, unless specified, are just regular lanyards. This is cotton, the seahorse, of course. And I do have the matching zip ID. This one is the deluxe again. So I'm not going to go through all of that. I'll just say what kind it is. Um, so that kind of goes on the main clip. And then I also have extra ones that kind of could match that. So I put them on a, a smaller carabiner so that they all can get stored together. So for no particular reason, really, I put the denim ones on with the seahorse. So let's look at all of these real quick. I guess just because blue and it was the closest match. But first, let's look at the second seahorse, of course, that I have. This is the stamped vinyl one, so or stamped PVC. I don't know what you call it, but anyways, it's plastic. So you can see it's clear plastic, but it's clear plastic on top of the cotton fabric. So it's the same material as that. It's just coated with a clear plastic layer and the clear plastic layer has this stamped painting on it, if you will. So you get your seahorses and then whatever pattern pieces behind it. So I kind of got like a shadow of two seahorses on mine. And the inside is sea life, of course. So that's kind of fun. This was really my COVID staple one that I used for the longest time when COVID started. I would just take that in because it was so wipeable. I've kind of gotten away from that now, but I'm still not going a lot of places, so not as much risk anyway. Then I have a Gen Zip ID. This is in denim. It is the retail side denim, so there's your interior pattern with the multicolor dots in the floral for some of the other microfibers. It has the big snap pocket, which is nice, and then it has a connected, so it's basically sewn on to a regular zip ID. So it's like a regular zip ID plus a snap pocket, that's a gen zip. These are a retired style now, but I did pick this up on a recent online outlet sale. It still has the two sides inside like a regular zip ID as well. And then, put it back on the key. And then this one, this is not a zip ID. It's a coin purse, but it's a coin purse with a key ring, so it's kind of like a zip ID. It's kind of like a gen zip ID actually, except it does not have a clear window. 
Now, I don't remember the name of this pattern, but it is denim. It's like a true denim, like jeans, like your favorite jeans. It's really soft and kind of nice. Has embroidered VB. This is a much, much older style, but I really, really like it. Um, the ends here are denim, so of course they will fray, like if you have cut off jeans. So I sewed them. You can't see it very well, but I sewed them along that line there so that they can have that frayed in, that's fine, but they're not gonna fray all the way up the ribbon pool thing. So I, that's what I did to kind of seal that end. I personally think Vera should have done that. That shouldn't have been something I had to do aftermarket, but whatever. Anyway, so it's a snap front pocket, just like the Gen Zip, a little bit different proportion. And then, let me get that snapped. And then it has a zipper pocket. And it's just one pouch, but it has a fun paisley pattern in there so really nice um, the zipper does work I swear <laughs> all right so that's those ones oops and I put those on so when I take the extra zip IDs I have them on a little carabiner and I hook it on to the ring so you have the primary on the hook and the rest on the ring and then as we go through them hanging them back on the big ring okay so that's that one. Then we have the Star Power or Stars and Stripes. And honestly, this is Stars and Stripes. This is this year's pattern with the um, red, white, blossom. So this is the interior pattern. And it's just a regular zip ID and lanyard. Yeah. Then, what's next? We've got last year's pattern so we got the fireworks paisley also red white and blue obviously so it's just a regular zip id and the primary lanyard as well and these are all the new style clips when we finally get to one of these uh, this next one is an older style so i'll show you side by side with one of the newer ones here we go okay so for this one let's look at this is a collegiate style. It's University of Arizona, of course. It also is red, white, and blue, which I love about it. But it's my local school, so when I go to a basketball game or a softball game, um, I'll take this just so I have minimal carriage of things and I have everything I need jammed into there and I just hook my key right onto it. Um, so this one is navy blue with white and then has just a regular lanyard. This is the older style clip. Now I know some people like the newer ones, but I personally liked these better. The problem that some people had with these was they had experiences of somehow it getting unclipped and things coming off of the clip. I've never had that happen, but this one is a combination one, so it's not a zip ID and a lanyard, it's the combo piece. So there's only the one ring and it's hooked loop to loop right on the ring. So for me, the key was secondary on that anyways. The difference between that one and here's Fruit Grove, which is a fun, fun pattern, also navy blue background. And this one is a separate two pieces. You can see the difference. There's a loop on the zip ID and a loop on the lanyard versus just the one between them. But anyways, this, this loop or hook is, it doesn't have a release latch, so it's not gonna accidentally come undone in that way, but it's, it's a little harder to get things in and out of. Hey, you know, it's a trade-off. But there you go. So there's Fruit Grove and Arizona. Put those back on the clip. Then we've got um, Kerala Garden. This is the one with the elephants. I know, it's cut off. I ordered it online, so c'est la vie. This was a Dillard's exclusive pattern, but it is such a beautiful, beautiful coloring. I love the navy with the teal and the blue and the pink. It's just awesome. So. There you go with the matching lanyard. This is another one of those combo sets with just the one ring between the two. Then we have Lilac Medallion. This one is, again, a two-piece. It has lots of purple in there. And then there's your interior, which is the Lilac Foulard. And this one has ribbon pulls, but they're not Vera Bradley on them. You'll see like on this next one is the older ribbon pulls that does have the signature Vera Bradley on it. I do kind of miss that, I'll be honest. I, I, I like 
I like that about it. It's not that you don't know it's Vera Bradley or that it's necessary, but it's the details, you know, sometimes that really make the difference. And I just, I, I thought it was a nice detail. Not that complicated to do. This one is in Plum Crazy, which is another kind of purple mix pattern. And it's, it's a one piece one, so it's a combo. And then I have hooked onto it, sorry, my elbow. Um, hooked onto it, I have this other one, and this one's an interesting one. It is, um, I forget, it's like a quick pass or quick slide version. This is in Canyon. It has a push lock opening, kind of like a trifold, and you hook your like bus card or Metro Pass or whatever in there. This is just a little holder. And there's a little silicone in there that kind of holds the card from just popping out uh, or falling out. And you, you know, you can just like unclip and you just walk by, you don't even have to take it out of the container. If it's RFID, this is not protected, so you could just zap it that way as well. Um, but it's nice push lock, and then it has also a zipper pocket in here, so you can put things in that as well. So it's kind of fun. I thought you could use this for a lot of other things, you know, little mini wallet. But the push lock makes it a little bit bulky. Um, but you can put your zip ID, or not your zip ID. It has a clear pocket access from the inside as well. So a couple different ways you can use that one. And I just have it clipped on to Plum Crazy. I guess that was the nearest match, but well, whatever. It's in there. I know where to find it. Okay. Then we have Concerto. Now Concerto is one that's black and white. So I have a bunch of other black and whites hooked onto it. Concerto is another one that was a set piece so it's got the single loop between them but there's a little bit of a look at the concerto pattern concerto had a partner pattern or the interior if you will which is mini concerto so that's what the mini concerto looks like it's it's not a true just straight up mini version but that's the name of it and then i also hooked on here some other black and white ones because that made sense i have the penguin one with the checkerboard, I think that's really fun. It's got this little faux leather penguin sewn on with this little scarf, and its scarf even has fringe cuts. I really like that one. And then the other one I have is an outlet version. It's still cotton, it's Blanco Bouquet. So it's black with white, and then just plain black inside. So I have those on the small carabiner hooked to this one. Dun, 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 dun. Excellent, moving right along. All right, faster and funnier, right? Okay, so we have Lilac Tapestry, and this is the two-piece one. There we go. And the interior of that one is Lilac Ilcat, or iCat. Then we have Mimosa Medallion. This is an outlet or factory-style version with the purple, and it's two-piece as well. Now, one thing I will say about, you know, we're talking about factory style versus retail side. Um, some, not all, but most of the retail side ones are quilted. So you can see the diamond quilting on the zip IDs. The outlet versions are not quilted. So the cotton is cotton. Um, but it's not quilted. So it is a little bit lighter weight, a little flimsier, which can be beneficial. You know, I like both totally for different reasons. But here's an exception because this is a retail side item that also is not quilted. So it's an imperfect differentiation, but fairly consistent, I will say that. Now, I know we just did Mimosa Medallion. I did not realize I had, I'd forgotten I had two of them is silly I should take one out and put it in the cell pile hmm maybe I'll just put that aside for now but on the other lanyard so you have different pattern placement and I know I got two zip IDs on purpose but you got one of the medallions there you got the Vir Bradley printed on the ribbon pole and there's your lanyard this is a one-piece set versus the other one that was two piece. And then I got um, a reactive, or in this case, lighten up one as well that matches. So same pattern, but different material. And it's, it's like a thin version of the lighten up. So there you go. All right. Hmm. 
Hmm. I like both of those. Okay. Next, we have one of my favorite all-time patterns, bandana swirl. Not a great snippet of it on there, but it's black with bright color, floral, and paisley, so it's nice. It is a factory style, and there you go, matching lanyard. It is the two-piece, because you've got your separate ring on there. Then we have Daisy Dot Paisley with the teals and then the polka dots inside and matching lanyard, so two different pieces. Then we have Factory Style. In this one, I got the Lighten Up Zip ID with the rubber zipper pull, so another difference. And then I got the cotton lanyard. So, a little mix and match there. And that is it for this group. There, so a lot more zip IDs than lanyards. And it was one up on the table there. Okay, next group, hello. <laughs> yeah, that's my china cabinet and my pile of lanyards. Sorry. Okay, this group has even more zip IDs, but this is my um, solid colored lanyards, and it's a mix as well. So, here we go. So, we'll just grab the first one, Wisteria. This is a lighten up zip ID and a lighten up lanyard. Lighten up, in this case, had the rope zipper pulls, and the inside is this nice colorful floral on a black background. It pops really nicely with this. So I got that one because it matched my sling backpack, but also it's purple, so it didn't have to match anything. It could just be. All right, next we have Bahama Bay, which is like a teal or turquoise color. And then I have a bunch of lanyard, I mean, um, zip IDs on it, and none of them are Bahama Bay, actually. But here we go. Let me pull these. So the first one I have right here is Sure Thing. It's the Sure Thing one that had the added faux leather turtle sewn onto it, which I thought was really cute. It has a faux leather loop ribbon or zipper pull, so more differences, and the interior pattern there that you can see. Then I've got a Go Fish or Go Fish Teal. I think this one is an outlet version for the more recent release of the Go Fish pattern, um, but it's a geometric pattern there, and then just plain on the inside. Then I have the retail side Go Fish one that came out with the original Go Fish, and it is a, a faux leather zipper pull with a loop, and has the faux leather fishy sewn on it with a, a microfiber tail. It is a microfiber zip ID, and then it's got Faux leather bubbles on it as well and then inside is the go fish and if you look at this side by side you can tell the differences in the colors between that factory style and the retail side pattern and then also on this one that matches coloring wise the closest because you know is penelope's garden and this one i do not have a hedgehog on there but i got florals and different colors on the front and the back so it, it's Sad that I don't have, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, so that's the Bahama Bay lanyard. Then we have this one. This one is a metallic, like, a, I wanna say pearl gray, but it's, that's not the name of it, but it's a silver, it's a silver metallic fabric, kind of like the, the pearls um, or the ice, uh, whatever. Um, but it's it's sort of a plasticky feel to it. It's not plastic, but it's just the coating on the fabric there that makes it feel a little bit rougher, if you will. But again, I got this for the cruise thinking that it's a neutral color, it's light, it's sort of metallic, and so it would go with a lot more items and I don't have to take 50 different lanyards with me, even though I take usually four or five, just to give myself choices. But this one matches fairly well with the park stripe. Obviously it's not a direct match because it's got a sheen to it and this doesn't, but park stripe in this case is performance twill and it is a deluxe version. So you got the pretty flowers in there, the deluxe. Then I also have two of them from Sea Life. Two, 
I purposefully did because I couldn't decide between the two because this one had a nice um, sort of centered octopus within the diamond there and then also had nice mix um, got an X on each side with a nice symmetrical look to it. The other one had all the critters. So you got the octopus, most of one, you got the seahorses, you got the crab, you got the turtles, and again on the other side. So I just, I, I liked them both, so I got them both. I didn't have to, I didn't have to send one back, I just kept it. And maybe someday it'll be a gift for someone or whatever. Yeah. Obviously I don't need this many. <laughs> That's crazy, I have a problem. I admit. Okay, so this one, I have too many going on. So this one has a bunch on it. Let's look at the first one that's on here. This is a plum colored microfiber. So in comparison, I have three purple ones and they're all different. So I think this one is Gloxinia, actually. So you got Gloxinia on the top, elderberry in the middle, and then the plum one on the bottom. So I, I misspoke initially. So the one that we were just looking at is this one, the Gloxinia. And that one I have hooked on to a winter berry, which is, or berry burst, sorry. This is a lighten up version. It's the soft lighten up, if you will. It's sort of a fuzzy lighten up, but I just have that hooked on and it matches very, very nicely, as you can see. The other ones I have hooked on there, I have a factory style lighten up in Midnight Wildflowers with a rubber zipper pull. Nice navy background, bright florals. I have my VBU Petite Garden with my little snails and pretty florals. And there's the other side of it. This one has faux leather ribbon shaped zipper pull on there. Then I have Resort Medallion. I got that to go with the backpack that I have in that pattern. And then I have Impressionista and the inside is Impressionista stripe. Obviously, I haven't used this one because the tissue's still in it, but it has the purple and pink stripes. And that's it for this one. So I put these back on here and put this on our big carabiner. It's great for storage and accessibility, actually. Okay, so this one is the plum colored one, if you will. This one has been on many cruises with many different lanyards. On here right now is what I actually took on my most recent cruise last fall. This is Dream Diamonds. It is lighten up on the retail side and it has the rope zipper pull. This one saw a lot, a lot of action. <laughs> Matched my backpack and all the luggage and everything that I took. Okay, the next one, let's look at the elderberry. So the elderberry has several as well. Starting of course with elderberry. So the elderberry has its own zip ID and lanyard, two piece. Inside you have the Moon Blooms, which was a microfiber standard interior and it was colored to match each of the microfibers accordingly. So obviously you have the purples in there. This one has a fabric zipper pull. It's a little bit short, but it's a double thick and just sewn on there. So very nice zipper pull, robust. There you go. On this one I have hooked on we have Fatic Leaves in a Lighten Up. This is a factory style one with the rubber zipper pull. Pretty colors though with the purples. I have Heather, and this is a retail pattern. I don't know if this is retail or outlet zip ID though. I want to say outlet because I caught into this one late and so I think it was an outlet one, but look at the colors. I just love those colors. So fun. I love Heather. Then I have a denim one. It's on the purple keychain though because it's got the lavender meadow with the flower embroidered on there. Very nice. And then the ladybugs on the inside as well. So outside and inside. I think though that should be with the other denim ones. But anyway. Then, oops, going this way, we've got Paisley Amethyst which is another purple outlet lighten up. And that's it for this one. Okay, oh no, sorry. And French Paisley, which uh, still has a tag on it, I haven't even taken it off. But French Paisley, really pretty purple. And this one does not have a birdie on there, but it has all the different florals and colors, which is why I picked that. Okay, so 
hook this on and then hook this. Make it a mess. Lanyards, lanyards everywhere. All right. Then um, the last one in this group is black. So black microfiber, plain black, and then a gazillions of them hooked on here. So there's so many, I had to have two separate smaller carabiners to hold them all. Normally I have on this one, I have just the plain black microfiber zip ID, um, but which I have right here, and there's your moon blooms that match the black instead of like the purple one. So plain, and the microfiber ones were not quilted, interestingly enough. But right now, because this is what I was using when I was camping last week, um, I had attached my performance twill black. You can see the bigger diamond stitching, the macro diamonds, but it's a deluxe. So you have your RFID capability added, always good. And then, you know, extra space and the nice metal looking zipper, but nice smooth. All right, so that's black on black. And then I have the regular black microfiber. I have a double ID. This has the, there's a clear view there and a clear view on the back. And then you have an extra couple of slots here to put other things and another slot behind. So you have your pocket behind and then you have your clear pocket. So snap, this one is slightly smaller in size. So if you look at it, okay, granted that's a deluxe, but it's shorter. So this one fits in my huggies for my lug huggies with the water bottle and go walking. This one fits nicely in that pocket. The rest of them don't, they're too tall. So for what that's worth. Here's another gen zip. This is winterberry and then the green interior. So the snap side and then the zip side. And that's it on that one. On the other black mix, I have Havana Rose. Like literally got the rose. And then the interior is Havana Dot. But this was before Ferris started limiting things so much and they actually had a separate Havana Dot pattern of its own. And then the inside of the Havana Dot was Havana Hot House. So you have the roses and pinks and reds. So kind of a little trickle down mix match of roses. Then we got um, Wildflower Garden, I think that was called. One of my favorite patterns. I just love the black background with beautiful, bright, colorful florals. It had purple in there as well. So really nice. I like that a lot, actually. And then this is another outlet version, Floral Fiesta. Just nice, bright colored flowers. Then that is it for the solid colored lanyards. We have two more carabiners to go. So that's that one. Okay, let's go with, we'll save that one for last. Okay, hang on. All right, so this grouping, this is my lighten up and reactive grouping. I mean, they're all, they're all patterned, none of them are solid color, but here we go. The most recent happens to be first in this group. So this is the bloom shower, and this is a reactive both the, the zip ID and the lanyard. And this is the set, you know, the one piece. There you go. And it just has the solid color interior. Then I have, that's the only one I have in reactive actually in this group. The rest are lighten up or there's a cotton one in there. All right, this is cut, um, no. Yeah, cut vines. Yeah, cut vines. It is a navy blue background, but it is a multicolored. See, you can kind of see the, like different variations of the blue in the background. And then you have these silhouettes of flowers with looks like paint splashes of color. So there's pinks and teals and orange and blue. I mean, it's just a nice mix. So up close, it looks a little weird, but it actually looks better from a distance, I think. But I think it's subtly, subtly colorful, but I like it a lot. It is very fall colored, actually, overall. But it's a two-piece set with the lighten up lanyard as well. And then it's funny as I'm pulling these out, I'm remembering where I was or when it was that I bought them. It's kind of it's a walk down memory lane in my head. This one is Kaleidoscope Rosettes. It is a bold pink. It doesn't really come across here, but like when you look at it next to the backpack, you can see that interior is pink. 
very, very hot paint. It is lighting up again, so you have the ribbon, I mean the um, rope zipper pull, nice zipper, but it is pink, it's very pink. And then you have the rest of the kaleidoscope colors on the florals from the rosettes on there. Then you have Mini Medallion, and Mini Medallion is like Berry Burst. It is that softer feel. This is lighting up, but it, those two patterns, for whatever reason, had a different material to it. It's, it's like a softer. It's, it's, it is, it's just softer. It's the best way I could say it. I think a little less water resistant than the other lighten ups, but whatever. Um, but there you go. So just Mini Medallion, and it had just a plain gray interior. And then the last one is Lighten Up Firefly Garden Lanyard and Zip ID. Just beautiful flowers, very tropical. And then I also have a Cotton Moonlight Garden Zip ID that goes with it as well. And that has the interior with the fireflies. I wonder if I have any fireflies. I do have one firefly, but it's on the interior side. You can kind of see it in there. Ta -da -da. Firefly. All right, so that is the lighten up and reactive versions. And the last carabiner, this is my Disney group. There is a Harry Potter in here, but it made sense that it goes with a Disney cluster. So there you go. All right. Now, a couple things about the Disney ones that are different. One, the price, because they're a little bit more expensive. Two, and let me pull the Harry Potter ones out for a sec, because those are not in the same category that we're about to say. So, the Disney ones are almost 100%. So right here I have five different ones. Four of them are quick release. One of them is not, so lucky me that that pattern back then did not have to be quick release but the other ones are and there's you cannot get them without quick release so what I like to do is I I just put a little zip tie you can barely see it there but see how I just zip tie it because I don't want to lose it accidentally yes that negates the safety feature of the quick release but I'm typically not in situations or scenarios where I'm going to be at risk of choking out for my lanyard for what that's worth. So I prefer that because I don't want to lose it, especially if you're in the park and you got things dangling, you jerk or whatever, or someone could just run by and grab it in a high threat area. So yeah, and I just, I think about those things because it travels around the world. So these ones are not yet zip tied. I haven't used them, so I just haven't had the need to do that just yet. I kind of forgot about them, but so. Let's start with the one that is zip tied. This one is Mickey's Magical Blooms. It's a nice teal based background, but it has all these like beautiful flowers on there. And in the center of the flower, which you cannot see here, but they're Mickey heads. So you'll see that in a moment on the zip ID. You can see the middle of the flowers are all little Mickey heads. And the interior of the pattern is actually, um, this isn't a great snapshot of it with the flowers there. You're not gonna be able to see the inside very well either, but there was more to it, the other partner pattern, but it didn't come in the zip ID in that. It just came in this. So some of the other pieces were this other pattern. Then you have, um, and I don't know the name of this one. Oh wait, I have the tags in it. Yes, I do. No, I don't. It does not have the name on it. I bought this from someone on Facebook. But anyway, it is little Mickey heads in the flowers as well, but they're much smaller. So you have the big ones and then you have these smaller ones in different colors. This one also had a Mickey pattern with florals and whatnot. So you can see a little Mickey in the corner there. Happy go lucky. But the other cool thing about the Disney ones is not only that they're, okay, quick release, that's a nuisance to me, but they come with a Mickey head shaped quick release on them instead of the hook and loop like the other ones. This one, not all of them, but some have a little charm on them. This is a, it just says VB and like a cursive VB on there. That's kind of just a nice little piece. And so this can kind of hang like that. And you get a little, little dangle jangle. Nothing intrusive or anything like that. So I just put these, clip those back on and they hang just like that. 
I don't use them together. I only use them one at a time per lanyard. But when I'm storing them, I just kind of match up colors as best I can. Okay, the next one, this is one of my favorites. This is my favorite Disney pattern. It's Midnight with Mickey. And this part of it, this is the interior pattern. So again, it was um, what was provided. But it has little different flowers. It's a geometric pattern, but really pretty colors. And you can't see it super well, but the interior of the flowers, again, you have little hidden Mickey heads everywhere. So it's very distinctly Disney, but not in your face Disney. But the colors, it's that black background with bright, bold, beautiful colors. The pattern itself, again, you're not gonna get from the zip ID, but inside you can kind of see that there's a bigger pattern that it went with. Yeah, yeah, not the best view of it. But I like this one. This one did not have quick release, but it also did not have the Mickey head ring on the bottom. It's not because I got gypped or slided, it's just the way it was for that group back then. It's an older pattern. All right, the next one I have, this is uh, Mickey's Colorful Garden, I wanna say. And this one, you can see it's quick release and it has the Mickey head. No charm on this one, um, but it is a two piece, so I have the separate pieces. And you can see this is a quality control issue. This was my second zip ID. They both came out with like a little wonky waves on them. And, and you can see the plastic too, that, that it's just, it's not, it doesn't lay flat. It's, it's just not well made in my opinion. It's like, cause I have a million to compare it to and this was the only ones that were wonky and that's crap. But anyways, again, it had a bigger pattern with the Mickey stuff not gonna get a good view of that pattern from the zip ID and I didn't get any characters in the window, but I did just get nice colors, contrast. So there's that one. And then two more. This next one is um, Mickey and Friends. I think that was the name of it. Or Dandelion Wishes or, ooh, I don't even know. Gosh, sorry. I'll put it in the remarks below for sure, but um, it is a gray back background. It has Mickey's Mickey heads hidden in it, and there's your like dandelions and whatnot. And then it had, of course, the bigger pattern. And in this case, I got a nice Minnie Mouse and some flowers, so that's fun. This one did have the Mickey-shaped clip, and again, no dangle jangle charm on there. But again, it was two separate pieces as well. And that goes very nicely. The last one, uh, I want to say, is like. Plums Up Mickey or something. Um, this one I bought, uh, I can't remember where I bought this. It, it doesn't matter, but it has never been used. It has, again, Mickey heads hidden within it, but it's kind of a pinky purple. And then there was a the bigger pattern. Now, I'm not as keen on the main pattern. I do like that there's a solid whole intact Mickey in there. You can kind of see them. I know it's not the best view for you. It's better when you look into it like this. <laughs> but still, you're not going to be able to see them very well. But I just, I don't know. There was something, it's a light background and, and just the colors was kind of wonky. But I do like this part, the, this part of the pattern with the geometric. And this is an older one as well. So it does have the Mickey head and it does have that BB charm on there as well. And of course, quick release. So. That is the Disney ones. Then I have a couple of Harry Potter ones, which is more recent. So the first one I have is Home to Hogwarts. I have the Zip ID with Hedwig, we've got the glasses, we've got a lightning bolt down here, a golden snitch, we've got part of the Hogwarts crest, and then what is that, a remember all down there? And then the cool thing, this is a ge geometric pattern as well. Um, but it had on the zipper pulls, it had Harry Potter on the one side and it says Vera Bradley on the other. And these stripe things are really cool. They actually is a big navy stripe and you can't very well see, but on the edge of the navy, you have just a tiny stripe of like a teal color. It just sort of sets it out, pops really nicely. Um, the interior pattern is a navy background with a lot of the iconic parts from Harry Potter. And then look at this pattern placement on this side. It's a, a geometric, but it happens to fall right in the middle between 
the two sides of this. So I think that actually is really kind of cool. And then the lanyard is just, of course, a cutout of it. The lanyards are not great showpieces for the patterns, but it does showcase the colors of the patterns, so that works really well. So this other one, this is the corduroy one. It's much thicker feeling. It's, it's fairly robust, substantial. This one has a black, or not black, it has gray and white, and then the tiny stripe is black. And again, Harry Potter on one side, Vera Bradley on the other. It's black corduroy with embroidered Hogwarts crest with all the houses on there. That's really, really nice. It was also more expensive. Ow, I keep bumping my elbow. <laughs> and then the interior is similar to the home to Hogwarts, except it's a black background with all those iconic representations as well. So sorting hat, etc. Yeah, so there's that one. And then I put this one on the Gryffindor lanyard. I did not get the Gryffindor zip ID. I, I just went more generic, but I did want something Gryffindor specific. So I got the Gryffindor lanyard. So there you go. And that is all of my lanyards and zip IDs that I have at the moment. So this is why I try to restrict myself a little bit because I definitely am covered for pretty much any occasion and any weather and any situation. So. Anyway, that's the Zip IDs and Lanyards. Thanks for watching. Thank you to my viewer for the request. You shall remain nameless. And take care. Have a great week. Bye for now. Don't forget to wash your hands. Washy washy.